So just talk about the different things the university is doing to help foster that talent to stay sure. on Long Island. Sure. We, uh, again, in terms of, in terms of the uh, talent, in terms of the, and, and, and in my previous, in my, in my um, other role at the university, which I had until about two years ago when I was also Dean of Engineering. Dean of the School yeah, of Engineering. We right. actually managed to grow the engineering enrollments by about a factor of four. So we have now about, I think it's close to 5,000 students in the engineering programs. We're doing, the engineering school is doing great, uh, and the number of graduates has multiplied. So we graduate more than 1,000 students in the engineering and you know, those STEM fields that everybody talks about. Yep. Um, of course, students hope to stay on Long Island. Some of them want to leave the island, and that's, that's fine. But the opportunities are incredible for them here on, on the island. We have a great internship program where we place students. We have a wonderful career center that places students at companies on Long Island. So it's, it's worked extremely well. The, some of the programs that we have, we talked a little bit about the centers of excellence because centers of excellence is university, industry working together, okay, and essentially with the federal government, with the federal government or state government working on projects and, and uh, research and development activities. We also have centers for advanced technology, which the state has. The state has 15 such centers, of excellence, uh, centers for advanced technology. Uh, we have three of those, three of the 15. We're the only university in the state that has those. And one is in the area of medical biotechnology, one is in the area of uh, energy systems, and one of them is in the area of sensors and electronics all essentially having students working with companies to try and help the companies with their R&D activities and developing, uh, developing new technology. Uh, we have the SPUR program, which we referred to, and that has been in place for about uh, 20 years, more than 20 years now. Uh, the focus of that was to try and help small companies on Long Island to transition from working in the defense industry at the time, this is 20, 25 years, when the oh. defense industry was really going down a very steep slope, uh, to essentially help them to refocus and maybe go into commercial products or miniaturize it and help them better compete. In any one year on that program, we work with about 80 companies on something like 150 different projects. And the, the angle on that is that we have R&D facilities at the university in the, uh, in the engineering school that are utilized for R&D, but they could also be utilized to try and help those small companies that don't have R&D facilities. Exactly. And with the, with, the, with, the, with the number of students that we have, number of graduate students, number of senior undergraduate students, number of faculty, we felt that that program, we can be the R&D arm for those small companies, and that has worked extremely well. 